Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to apply a Windows 7 theme on Microsoft Windows 10. For this video, I'll be using Windows 10 1909. I have not tested this on 20H1 or 20H2. However, I would imagine that it should work almost exactly. If anyone wants to try that, please let me know down below how that works out, but I'll be trying this on 1909. The download link for the theme pack will be in the description, as well as the original creator who did this. All those links will be in the description below. And now, before we begin, I just want to open up Task Manager and see our performance. This machine has 16 gigabytes of RAM and four processor cores on an i7-10700K. So just for reference, I would like to screenshot this and save it so we can see how much this theme actually impacts our real usage. Because this theme has an Arrow theme, and obviously Arrow uses more RAM and more CPU. So we're just going to save this as before, and we can compare this to our fully skinned Windows 10. Alright, so opening up the theme pack that we have, the first thing that we need to do is install the Ultra UX Theme Patcher. This will allow us to install other themes that Microsoft typically wouldn't allow. So again, we're just going to accept the license terms, go through, blah blah blah. I don't have Enterprise 1909, I have Pro 1909. If you're doing this on a real computer, make sure to have a system restore point because doing these things really modifies the registry and it could really mess up your computer if it goes wrong. So please have a system backup and just try to not be stupid with this. All right, so now after our system has rebooted after installing the Ultra UX theme patch, we're gonna need to open File Explorer, go into our local disk, and then Windows, and then in the Windows folder, we just need to find the Resources folder, then go into Themes, and here are all of the Windows 10 themes. Now, if we open up our Windows 7 theme, go into Arrow 7, and then Theme, we'll see other themes here too. So if we just go ahead, we're going to use the 14.393 anniversary update. Even though this isn't what we're on, we're running a much newer build, this works just fine. And we're going to go ahead and copy all of these into our Windows Resources Themes folder. Again, we're going to need to allow permission, and it's going to go ahead and copy all of those anniversary update themes into here. Once we did that, we're going to go ahead and find Arrow 7 Clear and double click on it. A please wait screen will pop up and when we come back, we now have a different desktop wallpaper, a new glass arrow thing around our UI, and overall everything looks more like Windows 7 now. As we can see, it also changed our start button to the Windows 7 one. We're going to be changing that again, however now all of our applications now have a nice Windows 7 arrow border around them. UWP applications look a little bit different. They don't have a top border, they look a little weird, um, and the X buttons haven't changed for some reason. Uh, so UWP apps definitely do need a little bit of a tweak, um, but overall, regular apps like File Explorer and regular Win32 apps, they work perfectly fine. Going back to our Windows 7 theme folder, now we are going to install the Setup WRS. This is the Arrow Glass installer, and before we actually go through this, we need to select a few things. First, we need to select the Windows 10 acrylic design, and then protect Arrow Glass by adjusting access permissions. From there, we're going to go ahead and install that onto our computer. Our screen may flicker a little bit, however, that's because it's really installing this. Now, you may notice that your system is not supported by this version of Arrow Glass. We're going to go ahead and continue. Every time you turn your system on, that will pop up. However, just ignore it as, as we can see, everything works perfectly fine. And now our arrow glass is clear and we can see through it. This is pretty cool. The next thing that we need to install is Old New Explorer. This tweaks our Windows Explorer to have Windows 7 features that aren't in Windows 10. To do this, we're just going to install the CFG file and check these three icons. Once all of these three are checked, we can go ahead and install this onto our system. Now that we've installed Old New Explorer, we can go ahead and relaunch Explorer and see if we see any changes. And immediately there's this new organized folder up here that was previously not there before. Now we're really looking like Windows 7. The last thing that we need to do is install Classic Shell. Classic Shell gives us the Windows 7 style start menu as well as a few tweaks to our taskbar. The only thing that we need to install is the Classic Start menu, so we just need to disable Classic Explorer, Classic IE, and Classic Shell Update. Once it's installed, we don't need to view the README file, we can just go ahead and close that. Now when we click on our start menu, it opens up Classic Shell Settings. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and replace the Start button, Custom, and pick an image. Inside of the folder that we've downloaded in Arrow 7 Theme, there will be the Arrow 7 Start Orb. We're going to go ahead and select that, 
And now when we hover over our start button, it does the Windows 7 animation, and when we click on it, it stays animated. So in my opinion, that is exactly how Windows 7 functions. Now we're going to need to go to Show All Settings and find the Taskbar menu. We're going to need to customize our taskbar and then select Glass and then change this setting right here to 20. Now we can see our taskbar is pretty transparent and pretty glass. Although it doesn't look exactly like Windows 7, it looks much more like Windows 7. Now we need to go to Skin, and this changes our Start menu. So right now, this looks like the one that you would find on Windows 8, but we're not trying to go for Windows 8. We're trying to look like Windows 7. So we're going to go ahead and change this to Windows Arrow, and now our Start menu looks like it did in Windows 7. We're almost there. There's a few more things that we need to do, and then we'll look exactly like Windows 7. Now we just have a few more things to do. We're going to need to right-click on our taskbar, and then disable Search and then disable the Cortana button, and then disable the task view, I believe, yeah, task view. And now our taskbar is pretty much all set. If you're activated on Windows 10, which I'm not, you can actually get rid of the action center right here. However, we can't do that because we're not activated, so we're not gonna worry about that. One of the last things we need to do is actually change our mouse. So we open up our start menu and then simply search mouse and change how the mouse pointer looks. All we need to do is click this Enable Pointer Shadow and then click Done. Now our mouse has a pointer shadow. The last thing that we need to do is restart our computer one more time and allow this to really take effect and allow all the registry settings to click in. And once again, once we've restarted our computer, we can see that AeroGlass is not compatible. We can go ahead and cancel that, cancel, and no. And now we've successfully skinned Windows 10 to look like Windows 7. Now obviously, like I said, there are some modern icons that mix with the arrow, and personally, I really like this. I think it looks really nice to have the arrow with the modern little icons, but there's one more thing that we can do. I, it wasn't in the folder earlier, if you looked earlier in the video, however, I just added it. We have the Windows 7 games for Windows 10 and 8. So we can go ahead and launch this, and what this does is this installs all of the Windows 7 games onto our machine. So any game that was included with Windows 7 will now be installed on our Windows 10 machine. After we launch it, we can now see the welcome, so this is just your standard go through. You can select which games you want, we're just going to install all of them and go ahead and install them. This is of course optional, because this is obviously optional because you don't need all the games, but now all of the games are installed onto your machine and you can play them like you would on Windows 7. Now you may notice that some of your icons are actually like, they have this little blue background, and that's because we're on 1909. There's actually a very simple fix to this, and all we have to do is go into the Microsoft Store, go to Downloads and Updates, and Get Updates. Getting the updates for these apps will remove the blue background on these apps, and it'll actually add colorful icons. So that should fix that issue. And now, like I promised, I would show you the task manager from the beginning and from the end. So here is our beginning task manager. We were using idle about 4% of our CPU and 1.6 gigabytes of our 16 gigabytes of RAM. So now opening up our task manager now, after we've tweaked Windows 10, we can see that we are actually using still 4% Okay, that's a little weird. We were using four, so our CPU's idling at about two to 39%. However, it's idling at two right now. Uh, moving things around, it does go up um, because of the arrow, but we're idling around two to six. Memory was 1.6 gigabytes. Now we're at two gigabytes. So actually, this doesn't use a lot of your system resources. It actually runs fairly well, and it's actually fairly good. I w it's a, it only uses 400 megs of RAM, and depending on how you think about it, maybe 5% of its CPU usage, and in my opinion, this looks really nice, and I really truly like this. With that being said, we now have a Windows 7 theme installed on our Windows 10 VM. In my opinion, this looks very nice, and I think many people would love to have an Aero theme back for Windows 10. So with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos and device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.